everything we love about America, all the freedoms our forefathers fought for, all of it is under attack by Barack Obama. But the media won't tell you that or show you the story you're about to see. So you've got to watch this, and your friends and family members and fellow Americans do too. So pass this story along, then join the NRA, upgrade your membership, or donate. Let's all defend our freedoms this year. Thank you. This was just total devastation. Absolutely terrifying. I mean, you looked out my son's bedroom window and there was just wild people just running around. But there are pockets of our society that are not just broken, but frankly sick. This is just the end. This is the final end. There's no way back now. London under siege. Residents fooled into trusting a government that left them unprotected. There you had British police standing there defenceless against the mob. It wasn't protesting, it wasn't rioting, it was just criminal activity. This is what Britain was reduced to. Helpless business owners and residents who only had baseball bats and rolling pins to defend themselves. Police officers who had been ordered to stand down. And rioters, the only ones armed with guns, taking aim at police helicopters. But what about citizens? What about business owners being able to use a firearm to protect themselves? So it would have made those thugs think twice. I kind of think that you might be right, but it's always been the British policy not to do that. The problem is, in this country, if he had defended his store with a gun, he would have been prosecuted, and if he'd killed somebody, he'd be done for attempted murder. This is completely wrong. I recognize in the United States you have the Second Amendment, and I, I support that. People weren't able to do that here. Our right to bear arms has been taken away from us a long time ago. Our rights were stolen. We, we, we don't really have any rights anymore. Fifteen years ago, I was here in London when the British Parliament passed a law banning all handguns, a ban they insisted would reduce crime. And today, their worst fears have come true. The fallout from the politicians' false promises of a safer society and sympathy for criminals? This is the result. The biggest mistake we made as, as gun owners was we never believed the handgun ban would go through. We should have actually marched on Parliament with our guns and said, if you want them, you come and get them, because there's no justification for what they did. But still, gun owners were forced to surrender their firearms to the saw blade, the scrap heap, and the blast furnace, their guns confiscated by the government to be destroyed. They target me because I'm an easy target. They know what I've got, and they know how to come and take it away from me. The handgun ban is a pathetic situation. Handgun crime now has reached a level many, many times more than when handguns were legal in this country. Don't affect the criminals one little bit. It's a crook. I know people who uh, supply guns all the time, no problem. If you talk to people in the UK, they feel that one of the reasons this happened was that for years in this country, we've been too soft on people that break the law. Democracy over here is a charade, it's a fraud. It's safer to be a criminal. We want our guns back because it was an illegal act. The message to America is stick to your guns and keep your guns. Don't let your government take them away from you. Don't give an inch. Don't give one inch at all. You don't realize how quickly things can change. Once they're gone, they're gone. You're not going to get them back. Everything we love about America, all the freedoms our forefathers fought for, all of it is under attack by Barack Obama. So pass this story along, then join the NRA. Upgrade your membership or donate. Let's all defend our freedoms this year. Thank you.